Now to tonight's Max Minute. Dr. Max Gomez taking on your coronavirus questions. And tonight he takes on a lot of people's concerns over pain relief medications. This is a lesson in how a nugget of science can get extrapolated into well-meaning blanket advice that has no clinical studies to support it. This started when some Swiss and Greek researchers published a letter in the Lancet Respiratory Medicine in early March. A letter is a journal equivalent of an op-ed piece in a newspaper. It's not a study. The letter reviewed case reports from China that theorized that using NSAIDs, a class of drugs that includes aspirin, ibuprofens like Advil and Motrin, and naproxens like Aleve, might increase the risk of coronavirus infection by raising an enzyme on cell surfaces where the virus can attach. That became an advisory from the French Ministry of Health, and from there it flew around the internet as a dire warning against ibuprofen. But in fact, the World Health Organization, the European Medicines Agency, and even the original letter authors do not recommend against the use of ibuprofen to treat pain and fever at home. Still, just in case, some people are turning to acetaminophen or Tylenol. But just be aware that a 2016 Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School review found that acetaminophen causes tens of thousands of cases of sudden liver failure each year in the United States and about 300 deaths. So the scientific evidence seems to be that you're still safe using ibuprofen. So important to clear that up. Thanks to Dr. Max Gomez there. You can submit questions for Dr. Max on the CBS New York Facebook page.